great. So, Black's up here to play another game involving a mystery or a detective theme to it. And coincidentally, it's also a uh, noir themed game. So, right up my alley as a noir detective from the 40s. Actually, noir detective from the 50s. Can't even get my own timeline straight. Alright, it's controller support, so. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Your current progress will be lost. Well, seeing as I've uh, not played this game ever, yes. Pop my mouse back up. Act one, the prologue. Ooh. It's already off to a good start. Sexy raccoon in a in a bathtub. Oh, is there no voice acting in this game? Uh, oh, I guess there isn't. Huh. I'm gonna actually have to turn up the volume on my end too. Okay, maybe not that high. So here. Let's try that again. There we go. I can actually hear things now. I also need to kick this up more. Twenty seven on the buzzard. Just enough time to clean up. Oh. Just listening for ambient sounds, see, so make sure that's not too loud or too soft. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, strange lovers. Should have probably been some of these old case files. Okay, let me turn that down just a tad. Okay, look and drag and drop. Some items can be picked up by pressing X. <laughs> oh. Oh, green, four o'clock, case number 147, John D. Insurance fraud closed. And scribbles, dangy feet. Ooh, he's into feet, huh? Green apple. Uh, there's nothing to actually look around on the desk, I guess. Oh. 
Ah, Gatstown. That's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean, though. Granville, where the night becomes to life. It's got its rough edges, but it feels like home. A good place for a nice but expensive date. Fancy museums, fancy music halls. I haven't been there for a long time. Okay, oh, there we go. Home high and mighty. Sky Skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. They can keep it. Mama Helen Lodor. Mama Helen Lodor. Lator. Lator. Taught me everything I know, and I spent years trying to unlearn half of it. My diorama project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action. My camera sees that these days the snapping fools leaving places they probably shouldn't be in. Docks, where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Village, lower middle classville. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there and on the border of West End. West End. No idea, no one's idea of paradise. Mainly, mainly factories and cramped tendant blocks full of neglected souls. Tenement. Tenement blocks. Labor district. That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not really, not a bad life, really. Greenery, where most of our food is grown. Whitest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. Hmm. That's not suspicious at all. Ah. Uh, PNNT, you're beautiful, dangerous, renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Ooh, formal lover. <laughs> so nothing on the calendar. Nope. And there I go, spilling my coffee all over the place. Trying to reach for my controller, like a smartass. I'm like, well, let's try to switch over to a mouse. Well, I will be back while I clean up this mess that I made. Now what am I going to do without my coffee? And more detectives only as good as their... Alcoholism or addiction to coffee. <laughs> Yeah. 
nothing important there. Not sure why I didn't just put my drink right there. And no, it looks like I can't even click on the uh, thing. As convenient as the uh, mouse and keyboard is, or the controller, it might just be worth me just using <laughs> keyboard and mouse anyways. Oh, so I can't actually click on things. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it so I can, when I have cash, so never. Okay, I'm just gonna switch back to controller. Notes on the fridge, call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Photochemicals, leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure, sure rope to poisoning or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. Oh, so he has a, his bed's in the kitchen, I take it. It's a bunk bed office thingy. Place dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Toilet. Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Oh, I can crouch. Tidy it up before my new client arrives. Inventory, new item. Need these chemicals to turn indent images into visible ones. It doesn't tell me what it is though. It's just a chemical for uh, essentially seeing a uh, Taking a notebook and seeing what someone wrote on the previous page. Everything knows its proper place. Heh. Oh, that must be Miss Green. Or Mrs. Green. Oh, now we actually have some music. Here, I guess I could do this. Okay, now... No. Okay, now that's just loud. Okay, the sound in this game is inconsistent. I'm not down, so don't hurt my ears. Odette. Excuse me, I'm looking for a detective Latour. We spoke on this on the phone. Let's see. I gathered uh, I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. At your surface, Miss Green. How's your day going? That's me. We were vague before, so tell me everything, Miss Green. 
All right, so. I guess we'll be uh, cynical. Let's let's be cynical. Because that's every uh, new art detective has to be cynical. That's me. You were vague before. So tell me everything, Miss Green. Oh, Odette, please. It's a matter... And it's a matter I'd like to uh, be discreet about. All right, what are we dealing with here? Uh, you don't last long in this game with a loose tongue. You got something to hide. All right, so you don't lose... You don't last... Uh, long in this game with a loose tongue. I wanted a professional, and you came highly recommended. That's good to know. So what's the trouble? Why are you worried about secrecy? Hmm. So, I'll question it. That's good to know. So, what's the trouble? I... I understand this sort of thing is your routine and your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Have you tried talking to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult. He gets difficult. It's like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for court. Oh. Tell me about the. Tell me about the fair. In court, are you filing for a divorce? Tell me about the uh, affair. I can get you. <laughs> Just don't ask any questions. Well, tell me what you know. What do you need to know? What makes you think he's not faithful? He, he was always a private kind of man. Now he's starting to get home late, missing work and... Smelling funny. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? What kind of smell? He's skipping work. You caught him lying. How late are we talking? Okay, hold up. Has he been aggressive? I don't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Latour. She threatened to take the kids. Who said she had kids? Odette, per personal details can make or break the case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine. He has a mean temper, unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Let's talk about court then. You want to file for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I... I can't take any chances anymore. But he... But has he said or done anything to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. I don't want... No, one I do not want to dig up right now. I work better knowing everything... It's the kids of debt. I really need every edge I can get. 
Uh, evidence for a custody battle is extra, so... <laughs> okay, we'll go. Evidence for a battle... <laughs> custody battle is extra, so... You have to be joking! Every silver... Every sliver of misery is an another loon in your pocket, is that it? Odette, you have to understand, I can't take any risk. Odette, this is a professional. We're gonna need uh, need more resources if there's custody in question. I'll give you the damn money. Now let's move on. Okay. Taking the case on. Let's talk about final details. Uh, so that, like, one question kind of seemed to have locked me out. Of the one thing. How come I can't just go back and ask so... How can you be sure he's... It's on. Let's talk about final details. Uh, so that, like, one question kind of seemed to have locked me out. Right, did my, uh, that was the one thing. How come I can't just go back and ask so... How okay. can you be sure he's... Oh, did I accidentally press something that's recording me? I bet it is. Uh, did I accidentally do a sampler thing? Or is there a stream in the background playing that has me on it? Uh, not sure if that got picked up. Huh. Okay. doesn't seem to be anything. Okay, well, whatever. All right, what do you need, sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Where would I find him? Have you met any of his friends? How would I pick him out of a crowd? What's his full name, Elias? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. Because I wouldn't marry any other species. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries around a black briefcase to and from work. Oh, so he's the uh, otter from, uh... He's the otter from, uh... Uh, Zootopia? <laughs> Where would I find him? I mean, usually. Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears the suit to work. I've picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Oops, I didn't even switch my voice there. <laughs> What's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think the people uh, at work call him... Jeez. Jess. Jess. Okay. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. Uh, I'll write the address down for you. Okay, that'll be enough. 
That should be enough. There's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my my life writing on this. I can only afford one shot. That can what assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. All I can do is do my best. I care about my clients. Your problem or my problems. It's a matter of trust of debt. Do you trust me? Nope. To be honest, I can't. All I can do is my best. I had to put a lot of trust in you, Mr. Lotel. Please don't let me down. Of course, I'll get... I'll, I'll get right on it. I'll call you later. Bye, Odette. Okay. Well, that's not something I was sort of expecting. I wish I could have asked her more about how she... Why she thought he was cheating. Uh, here. Time to save scum because it's early in the game. Yeah, like, I can't hear the phone. I can't hear, like, the water effects. Or that phone. No problem. I don't know why I thought this game might have had a voice acting. <sighs> right, so... My thing is, why did... Why does it matter that the, uh... Photo development chemicals are, like... In the kitchen and not over he here, where, uh... Is she supposed to be impressed that you have that here and not in the kitchen where she's not going to be? We hang on. Turn, turn, turn. I'm listening. Let's see. We try talking to him. What makes you think he's not being faithful? What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something pungent. Kind of an herbal stink. So he's smoking weed. He's skipping work. I've had calls from his... I've had calls from his boss wondering if he's sick. I've even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you've caught him lying. Well, he's just so bad at it. I didn't even bother changing the voices. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. How late are we talking? 
way past the kids' is dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Wait. Yeah, like... Okay, so why is this... Why is this the first thing that, uh... I thought this was weird. Shouldn't this only show up after she mentions that? Like... <laughs> That seems like poor structure. Okay. Take the kids. You threatened to take them, yes. Uh, Daisy and uh, Elliot shouldn't have to go through this. I'm go I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. I know this isn't easy, but you're right. Yes. I'm finally being brave. For them, at least. Let's nail this bastard. I'm taking the case. Sure, what do you need to know? Okay, go through these. Just a matter of my fee. Plus any unexpected expenses. <laughs> Please, be careful. Nobody can know what we spoke. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. What? Why? Uh, please explain. You can trust me. I understand. Get started immediately. I'll call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. I'm not promising anything. Don't ever promise anything. Okay, new objective. Uh, oh, no. Picture of Odette's probably unfaithful husband. So, do I just click on this travel? Nope. It's purely for expositing uh, locations and crap. Okay, that was a neat intro. Donovan's. Stay vigilant. Sounds like weight concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke, my kind of battleground. Permans and Sons. Squirrel. Yo, old man! Take a look at this picture. Have you seen this guy around? How's it going, fella? Gotta hit him up. Gotta, gotta warm them up first. Just hanging. What's up for you? I'd say I'm hanging around too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Nah, even if I would, why'd you tell, tell ya? The lawyer's office. Hi, if it isn't Mr. Howdy. What's a rascal like you up to up to on this fine evening? Hey Natali. Looking for someone, you got a minute? Ma Beaver. My Beaver. Oh, we're Alyssa and the kids. Ken, you gotta warm them up. They're both doing just fine. Alyssa, 
Oh. Easy and I are, are good. Great. We even blessed the shepherd. Got a second lad due soon. Oh, and I got a great story for you. Wow, lucky. You guys are lucky. Too, too many, if you ask me. Thanks. He's a big one, too. Elias is as is, is round as a watermelon. Anyways, the story. I'll tell her, ah, uh, wim, woman, can you get any bigger? And I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Great, can you answer a couple of my questions? I'm not funny. Don't you think that's kind of mean? <laughs> and so, <laughs> she just turns to me with eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh, boy, women, man. Ha <laughs> women. Women. Mysterious creatures. They love bread. So we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? Dare I ask what you told him? So I tell him, Mom and Pa have worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Okay. Sure is. Little Victor pulls Saul, Saul's laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're going to be so happy. Me and Baby Bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but that's the catch. There's the catch. You and your ma are going to have to look after him. And because two babies mean zero daddies... Because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> well, that got depressing fast. You okay? I got a missing person on me. His wife is pregnant too. <laughs> you okay? I'll manage, I'll manage now. What do you say you're doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. Have you seen him? Yeah, I've seen him. The barrow, barrow laughs at guy. Smells real bad. Took him back from the bite of a, from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did you mention anything strange? Any idea where he'd be now? He smell of what exactly? Ah, you know, poopy kind of smell. Still booze and perfume and herbs. Awful, awful stuff mention anything strange. Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for both of us. Ha! Huh. Any ideas where he'd be now? I guess the bite is as good as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Thanks and all your Tactus best friends. My regard to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye! So, this is a theater. The great story. Shown every day at those times. The day I bought a bike. A citizen Maine. Ha! Huh. Citizen Maine. Johnny and John don't drive. They did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Canines. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for a weekend, actually. Dr. Cyclops. Northern tickets. Eden Summer or Eden Summers in the hottest new jazz star. Or it is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Oh, Wolf Bank. Wolf Bank. Is this where Green works? 
little can go a long way. Uh, is that cake now? Return later. Oh, take now, return later, probably. Probably. And that's still got coffee on the bottom. Banker. Yeah. You folks work at Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? It's just around. And who are you? Wallace. Asshole owes me money, and I've been looking for him everywhere. Pi Hal Latour, or P.I. Latour, when's the last time you saw him? I don't think if I tell him uh, none of your business, this, he's going to answer. So, first one. Oh. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck finding him. <laughs> Good luck getting it back anytime soon. I make my own luck. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp, the wimp ass left already. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. <laughs> Did something happen at work? Something happened at work? Heard his contract's not getting renewed. Faster had it coming. Did you boys spend time with him outside? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy lich. The bite? Could he be there? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, crack. Fresh veggies. Ooh, grilled. Fish, shrooms, and veggies. Lasidious. Lasidious. $14.99 for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror, a pair of scissors, and a large whiskey. Okay. Do, do. Uh oh, someone coming. I don't think there's combat in this game, is there? The bite. I definitely definitely won't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Okay. No entrance for raccoons. Bye. Okay. Oh. Is there racism? Species is speciesism. My friend Carlos is waiting. Go ask him. I read something, big boy. In what do you need? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Get me a personal invitation signed by the great uh, apes, and I'll let you in. Deal. Uh, sure. Bye. So I probably gotta sneak in somehow. Fur trim, fourteen ninety nine. Claw trim, or claw clipping, five ninety nine. Back scratching, extra three dollars. Oiling and conditioning, extra six dollars. Crap, Dowry is on duty in the booth up ahead, and I can't deal with him right now. Oh, that's why. Uh, 
But what the hell does he not see me? Kawi Omar. For lease. MC McKenzie, McKenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. So so. And conveniently, there's a uh, a seamstress right here. Yep. So so. Foxy buggers. Ooh. I once got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. I can't go further. The press. Bow. Hello there, big fluffy bunny. Good day, my friend. Fancy some fresh news. Anything happening for a change? I mean, later. How's business, Bo? Business is business. Could always get better, but it keeps me fed. Damn hawkers. Don't stop. Don't help any. Granville's filling up with them, and the force can't bat an eye. Why does it bother hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their, their rickety asses stand... They're, they haul their uh, rickety asses, stands around, hassling folks, and all with no permit. Uh, the police... Police booth is right there. Nope. Fuck the police. Why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can get undercut honest businessmen like myself. They're criminals. Gotcha. Better get going, then. Police booth is right there if it bothers you. I try reporting them, but the officer, by the time the officer gets there, the hawk goes, I smoke. Damn their nimble little feet. Gotta go. Yo, you go, I'm busy. Uh, that rodent hawker will arrive in any minute and I need to make sales. Cheer up, Bo, you can at least, you at least have one loyal customer. Man, you can be a bit entitled sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Get lost, will ya? <laughs> Is he gonna be pissed off at me? Thought I told you to do one. I'll just say sorry. Didn't mean to be this special. Hey, Bo, what's the headline today? It's Great Ape Parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts on Friday. That'll be half a loon. Thanks. Just wanted a headline. Hardly news. It's the same every year. No way. Floats are different every time. Gotta sell mounds of... Mounds of nibbles? Drop by. I'll try. So... Why are you still here? God damn. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute. There's like a ticker thingy up there, though. Mail the great apes. Uh, Dr. Chimps. Goldsmith digging shovel. No, it's an advertising build. Oh, it's not a little ticker news thingy. Do, 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 do. No one question why I'm crawling. Stay vigilant. Larry. Howard, will all be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry. Larry, what are you doing here? 
How are you doing, old man? You're calling me old? You look like you're looking in the mirror. Shit, are you okay? I'll go with this one. <laughs> That's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here. Are you okay? No, not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an honor guy around here? What'd he do? <laughs> Awful things to his pregnant wife. Can't tell. Client pot. Confidentiality. Nothing serious. Just messed up his marriage. Must be a shifty guy. What's he look like? About my height, Chevy wears green hat. Here's a photo. Haven't seen him around. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything else. I off I'm here often to hear people talk. I've got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. A break. It's more... It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Okay, so there... There is some speciesism going on, I guess. Uh, any ideas how I can get in? Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh, Howard, you may be able to pass off as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. In all seriousness, I need in. Uh, what do you think? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'll know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid in the leather jacket. He's a pusher. Don't entirely know what his deal is with the bite. Uh, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Jimmy push? You know, typical, like hype and shatterfang. Oh, and get this, he started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Uh, who comes up with these names? Uh, it's like they don't want you to do drugs. And you think this Johnny can help, Monkey Butt? Oh, what do you know about the bite? Monkey Butt? Yeah, what is? There's this new thing. New thing's the shit. Though perhaps a little less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky stuff. Does it have a kind of herbal stink? Not well, first hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way of putting it. Okay, so yeah, he is just doing grass. Uh, you think this Johnny can help? What do you know about the bite? Owner of the blood a blood war. So lots of rumors floating about this kind of this whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the bear family. Criminal family. Last year head of the family up and died and shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative. What are the rumors? What are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she got, she's got an eight for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the other skills so that she could take over. I think this Johnny guy can help. Uh, might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. All right, Howard. Welcome. You got it, Howard, and a welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry, I'll see you soon. It's this way. Intercom. Yes, yes, no, no. Sally Sellet. E ha ha. It's a fucking cool cat reference, really? <laughs> Artist, uh, something. Right. Artist, only. Artist, something. Uh, lonely. Salvation from the horrors of existence. Oh, art is our salvation. 
our only salvation from the horror safety. There's just no no safety. Lovely. Game's a lot more mellower than I was expecting. Uh. Yo, old man. Hey, Johnny. Who's asking? I am. Yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to ya? Heard you deal in monkey butt. Fuck. Where'd you get that stupid idea, stripper? Some rumor going around. Will you help me out? Look, old man. You couldn't handle stuff even if I did have it. But you know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make you a... Sympatico. What does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. I'm a detective. My mark isn't by... I'll owe you one. The warm fuzzy feeling that you're a nice guy after all. I want to devour you. In the best way. Oh, hey. Thank you for the follow. A 13 Tito Azazel. <laughs> okay, so. So I play the cop. Hmm. Well, let's go with that. This shouldn't me prove it, punk. I consider not turning you to cops if you help me out. You feel? Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. You scratched my back. I'll scratch yours. Wink, wink. I don't trust strippers. Is a raccoon supposed to be? Is that a, supposed to be a racial slur for uh, strippers? Let alone the ones in trench coats. Right there, rich. Bit rich coming from a bushy tailed uh, corner boy, don't you think? Shut your mouth, I'll stuff your, your trash tail in it. At least my mother isn't. Busting her gut in the farmland. You're so ugly when you're angry. No, you are. You know what? You're right. I'm a loser, but I need your help. Ugh, you're so pathetic. Would you get lost? Just look at your fucked up face is carrying me for life. Yes, yes, I really, really do. Help me, Johnny. So my face has got your attention, huh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Are you on something right now? I could be if you play your cards right. <laughs> the fuck are you suggesting? Love your jacket, by the way. Wink, wink. If you think... I mean... This is gonna <laughs> help me. I'm warning you, this is your last chance. I don't wanna blow. I don't wanna blow it. Else what? Oh, this is gonna be a combat thing. Get angry, do it. Else what? Else I'll teach you not to fuck with me. A bit for late for that, isn't it? 
<laughs> Get me into bite, Johnny. You know what? Fine. I don't even care. Let's go. I'll talk. I'll talk to Hank. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> holy shit, that worked. That actually worked. I wasn't expecting that to work. Do, 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 do. So talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? He's just going to get the bouncer to attack me. What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought me a favorite customer. A stripper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Okay, so why does that make my mouse appear every time? Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, a little, all a little too high end for my taste. Rennie. Well, you're unusual. Not unlike that greeting, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. As you will, though, it's just an observation. Rennie Wilson. Hmm. Do I want to go with my real name or do I want to pretend my name is fake? Wallace, nice to meet you. <laughs> that's a fake name. You're too young for a Wallace. Calling it, that's my line. That's, calling it, that's a line. You've said that no matter what. You've said that in no matter what, <laughs> what name I gave. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Not at all. I'm truly delighted. My night just got a lot more interesting. I hope you can tell me about your tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Is it a fake card? Investigative journalist? It's a living, usually. Have you seen an odder gentleman here tonight? Wait, what just happened? Not another card. Hey. I thought I asked them or her or them. Like, ah. Hey there. You're here for Ian Simmons' show, too. I'm happy to see her live, finally. I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound, though. Not quite. I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Oh, well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. What makes her great? You play her often? From time to time, I take... I like the place. It's so very classy and the food is great. And they have good taste in music. Ha! Huh. Well, you can only be sure you, if you stay here for the whole show. You know what? I gotta get going. Bye! I wish I could, but... Uh, have you seen an odder gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Did you see where he went? Was he wearing a green hat? Oh, yes. 
No. And so was his tie. I thought it was a little funny. See where he went. He talked to the lady at the jade with the jade cross dress and went upstairs, I think. He have his briefcase with him. I'm not sure. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, I thought this was the uh, person singing. <laughs> it's that person there. Audrey. Isn't it too dreamy? Oh, you sure are. Excuse me? God, I love this music. Want to dance with me? Uh, no, sorry. Did you answer some questions? Look at all the characters. Hank. Another Hank, or is that the same Hank? Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? Listen. In here? How could I not be? Not yet. My friend's late. I'm worried about him. Not touching. They're regular. Jimmy, he's usually here like clock. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Uh, it sounds like... It sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. You could be trying... You could try asking the bartender or Mrs. Uh, Bloodworth. Buy you a drink while I'm at it. Thanks for your time, miss. If you insist. Okay. Come on, gotta, bu gotta butter them up. What's your poison? Surprise me. I'll try. Okay, it's just the sit down. Oh, guess I can't talk to the bartender. Clarissa. I look a little lost. Is that obvious? Exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Do I look like a troublemaker? Oh, just trying new. Say I was. I'd have Hank show you the door. Troublemakers are bad for business, usually. I'm trapped. I'll have to... <laughs> I'll have to put off the troublemaking. Less, uh, at least until it stops raining. Oh, you have a stake in this place or something? I'm gonna make a joke. You think I'm joking? Adorable. So, to whom I... Do I owe the pleasure? The ladies first. Let's not lie to her. She seems rich. A little tour, private eye. How exciting! Are you here on business? Say, if I was, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I be welcome like any other customer? That's up for me to decide. No, you wouldn't be. Please leave. And who are you? I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Now you were leaving. That's not suspicious at all. Maybe I'll see you around. Don't worry, Mr. Latour. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again. Sure we will. Goodbye. Oh, did I get kicked out? <laughs> Threat. I knew it. I probably shouldn't have said so. What's her deal? I need to find another way in. Intercom. 
This person's new. Startling Sitter? Cider. The delivery truck, the door's open. What are you looking at? Why are you here? Are you all right? I mean, it's fine. What's it to you anyways? Orange, right? Read it on the tag. You don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. I said I'm fine. Get lost. <laughs> you work at the fight. What kind of game are you playing? I told you. Not leaving until I get her back. Get who? Are you looking for someone? <laughs> right. Make like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir, I'm on to you. I'm not moving from this spot until you'll let me talk to my daughter. I'm looking for your daughter. I'm a fool. I know where she, she's in there. But she doesn't want to talk to me. No, it, that's not. They won't let me in to see her. Yeah, bite. I can keep an eye out for her. You're not one of them thugs. I mean, you no know, harm. What thugs? I'm here in my own business. Private eye. Detective, I don't understand. And a canister you're holding. Maybe we can help each other out. How? I need to find a way into the building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Try the code at the door, but filthy slug won't let me in. Just want to talk to her. What happened to your daughter? She's in that filthy, and I've been coming for days, but they say they, they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What she's doing in there. Kid decides that she's gonna make it on her own and lands her herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, and they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let me see her own mother. Poor baby. They won't let you talk to her. She says she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying. I know it. They just want to keep her all hushed up like. Okay. Gray fur, name's Rosie. Rose. It drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She just turned 20. And if they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this hive down to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bike before. She told me that she was a waitressing. But I asked around, and this whole serves drugs and sleaze. Uh, when did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago, we had a fight. So you fought about her job at Bite, and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Nothing. Thank you. I'm waiting out here. They haven't told... I haven't told her, I'm sure. Do you know of any way in? No, I heard voices up on the roof, but how'd you get there? How'd you get there? You said you tried the code on the intercom? I memorized it for word for word. Uh, great fire, damn me. I look at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Okay. All right, thanks for helping me. I better go. Please, if you see my daughter, tell her I need to see her, please. No answer. No answer. Okay. Break in. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. Uh, there is a weird looking recording device on the dashboard. The compartment seems to be locked. The compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspaper and documents that look like invoices or checks.
The newspapers seem newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Headlines. Truck. September 22nd. Uh, epidemic continues. Razors may be spreading disease. Uh, October 9th. A vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Ooh, wall attack, huh? Look at invoices. They all mention a company called uh, Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite uh, Foods, Inc. Their most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Try using the device. It's a uh, recording, the voice recording hardwired into the dashboard, probably for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recording if you enter the correct dates. Um, okay. September 22nd, got three packages for you. Jeez, damn you, I can't find any. Uh, we, can, we expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. October 9th. Uh, we got five packages, We're ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the car. For four hours late, leave me alone. Back to interior. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Sorry, Apes, can you bust me in? See, it's the uh, we expected to an hour ago. Read headlines. Expected to continue being an ass and I'll leave. up uh got one package ready prepare them for loading okay all right Packages, greasy, damn you, I can't fit that many. You're late, we're packing up five packages, ready? Three is all I can fit in the truck. Uh, 
Oh, okay. October 9th. What is the pattern? Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders. Three defenders wounded, one dead. Okay. Great, ready to load. Come on in and wait by the laundering. Bring a, bring them over once we're ready. Okay, I still don't get it. Really? Laundry room. The bar's just behind the door. Maybe I could sneak uh, behind the angry bouncer to the second floor. Dirty pots, doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't eat here even if they didn't kick me out. Left. Great lip uh, going downstairs, need a turnkey. Oops. <laughs> I actually have to like sneak up. Crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Just gotta keep a low profile and take a peek into one of the rooms. Just must be in there. Okay, I get it there. I was trying to understand what this perspective was. Private room. Guess I'm not gonna look for the, uh... Not one lady's daughter. Did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help uh, Odette. Painting. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get there? Green hat. A green hat. The hat must have been here. Or green must have been here. Now, oh, where's the rest of them? Oh, I see it. Herbs. Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. What's this? What a secret left. Uh, I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a grim furnace. What are they burning in there? Oh dear. Did he die in the video D? <laughs> Incinerate him. Incinerate their uh, OD people. It looks like the guests of the fight are eating well. Cork board. Break, the inventory was off again. If I catch you selling food, I'll chop off your grubby little fingers. Took honey. 
intercom. An intercom connected to the other room, the building, there's a list of extensions. Leave. Oh, did I take honey? I taste the off-white business card with journals and writer. File freezer, file packaging, file kitchen. Why would I call that? The event could I fit if I could crouch? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I gotta make sure. I'm not seen by the guys with big knives. Smells delicious, though. Oops. <laughs> uh, the kitchen. Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? If it's Greg, no, I'm not making a snack. You suck. What are you doing? I want to order a large pizza with pineapple on top. Pineapple on pizza? Are you crazy? Wait, who is this? Don't go anywhere. Uh-oh. The pineapple on pizza hater. Oh, there's two people in the kitchen. Smells like some kind of locker room. Better keep moving. Locked items, right? Change order. Oh wait, what? Ray, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. Okay, well, what do we have here? Oh my god, it's so slow. Let's do this. Oh. Wait, is this really like a... Here's the family favorite. Uh, it's the light. Tickets. The Citizen, Rising Star, Andrew West pushes Trawlers, the final versus stake. Okay. What's with the holes? Suspicious. Are these just like random bits of paper? Note, 
Greg, the turkey's missing again. It better have be where be where it better be here when I get back. Okay. So I have to find a key code. Maybe it's my ticket out of here seems to need a oh, turnkey. Is that what the note was like the turnkey? Did I re misread that as turkey? on it. I think I get it. Maybe. It's the order of the num the numbers right there. Okay, so okay, I get it. So this is a circle. Circle is four. So that's a four. A. The triangle is a one. Diamond's a five, so four, five, one. zero. Okay, I got it. So zero, four, four, five, one. Okay, so cold here, where are the lights? Okay, there's nothing this way. Which is some attic. dead body it's a naked dead otter the fuck oh fucking the corpse officer see no help touch the corpse place the finger on the corpse it's not yet cold and try to obtain cause of death the body's no show signs of uh, shows no obvious signs of violent death it's just Naked, dead, and a slightly overweight otter. If he had died naturally, that would be serious. Right. It's fucking ridiculous. Someone killed him. Sniff the body. Uh, what used to be a Jimmy smells like stale booze, cheap cologne, all held together with stagnant purple thing. That's enough ongoing. New objective, get the fuck out of here. Oops. I 
gonna harvest them for organs. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Okay, coming. Okay, probably should sneak around. Bring deserve? I don't know. He did uh, put himself here, I guess. Druggy. Okay, how the hell do I get out? Let's keep going. Key. Return key. Upstairs. Okay. Yeah, let's just go back that way. <laughs> oh, I see upset. Huh. I guess he hasn't seen a dead body before. Unlocked. Act two, connection. Fuck, 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 fuck. They were butchering him. I guess, I guess it was the butchering him that got him, whoops, that got him uh, upset. Dispose of body or something worse than that? The bite serving people's flesh? They were dismembering the corpse and putting them into boxes. I heard stories of about ritualistic cannibalism, uh, cannibalism in the past. Fuck. Time I close my eyes, I see him lying there. No. Oh no. No, I can't remember it, so I'll focus on the alcohol. The fuck am I going to do? This is so, so fucked up. Duty or something, I should tell the police. What am I gonna tell Odette? Fucking cops aren't gonna do anything. I have a duty to do something. Uh, I should tell the cops? Is that really gonna work? What would I even tell them? Uh, Mrs. Huh. Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's gonna have something like that without someone... No way she's doing something like that without someone higher up covering for her. What would I even tell them? Hi, I broke it into private property, and I'd like to report a butchering. Bastards hate unsolved murders that bury the case in red tape. Just arrest me and, and earn favor from her for free. No thanks. So the police are out of the question. What am I going to tell? How about the truth? Too harsh for her. Drag it out. Say I'm still looking for him. Wait. So I can't. I can't tell her the truth. Hmm. 
no idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. I'll call her and swing it. The truth might be too hard for her. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. Why just what do he do? What if he's not the first? The guy seemed like a harmless loser. How many people has Bloodworth killed? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. But what the fuck can I do on my own? I have to stop someone else from being butchered like that. My last chance to do something meaningful. Okay, I guess this gives them a cause. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. But it's safe, secure, unless time around corpses. I also don't want to die. Okay, so he's, uh, he seems to have, uh, this Howard character seems to have resigned himself to a, uh, a mediocre life. Fuck, I don't know. I wish I could tell... I wish someone would tell me what to do. I wish I had someone to talk to. No one would get it anyway. I have to wing it by myself, like always. I have to stop someone from being butchered like that. This hat might be the most important case I ever had. But is it worth the risk? No clue, I have to... <laughs> no clue what to do, I'm useless. Some detective I am. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. I'm a fucking coward. I just want this day to be over. Let's give it a go. Oh. Alcohol. Alcoholism ho! <laughs> oh, I'm out of booze. Drink the last of the little coffee that didn't spill out. Fuck this. Oh. I guess our hero is not going to uh, answer the call to action. Wishing well. Somebody has been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. White lock bushes. Has, uh, has that same herbal stink too. That that uh no. Oops. Hey pussy boy, let's have a chat. To the chase. Get fucked. Say that again. Come on. You guys aren't exactly great conversational list. Go on, stab me. I don't care. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now, time for that pain. <laughs> now, time for pain city. Get fucked. <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh, it's the reporter. Okay, Howard uh, Latour, we're safe here. You can relax. You're relaxed. I'm relaxed. Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Let's talk. Why would I tell you anything? Because we might want the same things, but fine. I'll start us off. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been chasing a Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence that I'm working on. 
who are you? Who are you working for? Why are you interested? How'd you find me at the park? Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like uh, being told what to do. Who's the guy? The name won't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? Uh, when the time is right, especially when someone really needs the telling. Let me guess, everyone needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing about, power and influence, how they work, can get you how you can get them. My end goal is to discern who really has the most influence in the city. How worthy. Sounds like you're on your way way over your head, and what's that going to accomplish? People can't remake society if they don't realize it's broken. <laughs> uh, if only it was that simple. Why are you interested in blood work? She's maybe the most unofficial powerful person in the city. Uh, since she took over the head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the bite, and more. So you're an expert on Clarissa? You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. So what she's... What's she like up close? I honestly don't know. She's Stonewall. Smart. She can see right through me. Yeah, that's the impression. my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. She pushing drugs? Specifically monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean ver she serves the clean uh, variety at the bite, and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. That's a fucking That's a stupid fucking name. I think it's smart. Makes you giggle. Uh, you tell your friends, and they're curious. Boom. It loosens up the tongue. And for someone like a Bloodworth, would serve a purpose. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Do you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been, there, uh, have been seen there. I'm talking uh, top bankers, uh, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinks with those kinds of folks. Let's move on. Hmm. How'd you find me at the park? Well, when I left the bite just uh, after you got kicked out, I saw you running around. I wonder what madness you were up to. Yeah, I was pretty hot under the color. <laughs> just the usual night for me. I stalked out the alley behind the bite on a hunch. 20 minutes later, uh, bingo, puking raccoon. I could have... I got a sense of the stomach. I could... Could have been my usual back alley puking. Glad you enjoyed the show. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why you, why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Hope it was worth it. That's up to you. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me, like I trust you just now. What did you find at the bite? Uh, you know what? I should go home. I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Uh, wouldn't it feel nice to share the burn with someone? You wouldn't believe me anyways. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. 
So from the beginning, on our way here, you told me you are a PI. What led you to the bite uh, in the first place? My case. What's the case? It's hard to track down a guy, take photos. Really? What's his deal? Not sure. That's what I was trying to figure out. I see. Did you find him? Yes, this corpse. What? Where? Uh, in the bite's basement, they were cutting my target uh, up into pieces. What the fuck? Cutting him like a fish. There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. Uh, dividing his flesh into neat chunks. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes. Hence the puking. <laughs> I wouldn't put killing past her, but this? Why? a powerful thing or a fetish how the fuck would i know maybe she eats them i mean it is called the bite maybe she eats them i don't think so but someone else might no wonder you puke damn what the fuck didn't ask for this I'm not a fucking murder detective. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Okay, now. It was really an eventful night for you. Uh, what are you going to do about it now? I better get my shit together. Exactly. Then what's our plan? Since when is it our plan? <laughs> Wait for the sweet embrace of death. Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Could you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth, since she's clearly more dangerous than I thought. Exactly why I'm going to stay away from her. She is, but what can we do? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't. And you... And you owe me one. Trust you too? Good. Because we clearly can't trust my gut. Just imagine doing... Your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. Partner would be nice. Smarts, you stubbornness. Dream team. My smarts, your stubbornness. The dream team. Okay, you're right. Okay. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? But I'm your guest. <laughs> Well, then again, sure thing, boss. All right, I'll be her bitch. At least I think it's a she. I think they're a she. Renee. Turn on kettle. Huh, what tea would she prefer? Hmm, hibiscus flower. To me, it seems pretty cool. Don't know how to feel about her. I don't trust anyone. Ah, I'll go with this. Time will tell, I'll watch closely. Maybe sh I deserve a friend. She got under my skin pretty quickly. She seems curious, smart, and kind. 
it's nice to have someone like that around. Coming right up. Some boxes. We just move in. Uh, I don't live here. It's my safe house. Where are we? Docks. Not the most uh, picturesque part of the city, but it's at least hard to find. Oh, well, she's got a she's got a safe house. That's smart. I don't know how one would go about having a safe house though. Like. Especially because you would assume you wouldn't want to buy it yourself. Pork. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. Look at that raccoon tail. Hibiscus, my favorite. Thank you. Don't bring your tongue. Way ahead of you. Oof. Ow. So, the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see us? Uh, the Sterling uh, Cider Delivery... In the truck, uh, delivery truck in the back, in the bite alley. Yeah, I think I saw. It. Yeah, I had, to, and I had to dig around it. You thinking what I'm thinking? Is that a glass of? <laughs> would be nice. Right. Seems like a stretch. Where are you going with this? What if I told you that's not the, that's not a real. Sterling Cider Van. Conspiracies are for crazy people. Why bother making a friend? But what if you told me? Told me why? I've seen it a few times. While researching the bite, it's a good fake, but you can tell up close. You followed it, didn't you? How did you know it was fake? I love their pear cider. Don't don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors are too off. Or we're off, too. So does it deliver too after the bite? Well, luckily, there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it would deliver somewhere in a uh, gas town. People like me, but not exactly. No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the bite alley before going to the uh, gas town the next day. I plan to sleep through tomorrow, so it'll be in gas town tomorrow. Yep, you should figure out exactly where it drives and investigate. Uh, we have to learn where the flesh goes, so it's a stakeout. Sure, but look, look for where Sterling is stocked. It's a fake truck, uh, but the right, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. Uh, you'll, that'll help you narrow things down. Uh, that's some good detective thinking, Reese. Actually, no, that is pretty good. I was gonna like say, so search for the place that doesn't actually sell it. Thank you. It's a needle I hate suck, but that's all we have for now. It has to be done. Of course, detective work. Detective work's never safe. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. Ooh. Renee, I'm having second thoughts. Clarissa could be tracking me. Uh, we'll figure it out. 
You already compromised your safety. What's the point of stopping now? You've got nothing to lose. Fine. I had to call a debt. Shit, I had to call my mom. But whoever that is, go ahead. The phone's right there. Arrange a taxi to Gastown while you're at it. Got a man for that. I'll be right back. Huh. Wait, where is that? Her dominant family leader's death uh, ruled a tragic ass accident. The uh, renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clem Clemence, and daughter Clarissa. Yeah, I don't buy it. Hmm, noodles. Maybe I should... No, stay focused. Eyes on the prize, Howard. Renee got her own investigation board set up. At least one of us is organized. Unrelated to the case, I wonder what her ed editor is like. Chapter 4, call editor. Yeah, keep smiling. I'm coming for you, you monster. I feel like I should know which ape this is, but I'm drawing a blank. I'm probably one of the top dogs, which doesn't narrow it down by much the fight a butcher shop right in the middle of downtown Granville Ugh, I don't think I could go back there if I tried oh not oh, this uh, sterling silver the farms that one mom Oh, hey, Mom. Howie! Oh, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I'm fine, Mom. Just checking in. You don't call for weeks and you're checking in at 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Good. Do you need money? Have a job, Mom. I'm okay. Sure, a job. I worry about you. Uh, what do you need, then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. <laughs> spiders, not huh? Big ones? Huge! I'm not panicking, but... Where are they coming from? You, maybe you should take a look for me because maybe later. I won't call for a week or two. Don't worry, okay? Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you, maybe you will when I die. Love you, mom. Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye, bye, baby. Go death. Hello? Odette, this is Detective Lars. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Lars, my husband has come home. Did you see him? Uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined, so please, uh, Mr. Latour, put me out of my misery. Listen, you should file a missing persons report. Oh. Oh, Shepard. Please, just try to move on with your life. Is... is he not coming back? No, I'm sorry. I have to go. Please. But, please wait! Who are you going to call? Anatoly? 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 It's... Uh, 
That's Howard. You sound very awake. Ha ha ha, Howie. You think I was asleep? Sleep is for when you got no babies. You free today? I think you might need some sleep. Actually, you sound excited. My son just pooped! Okay. And tell him congrats for me working today. Why is that exciting? He hasn't pooped for days. What's up, partner? Can you pick me up at nine? I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Tolly, the dy dynamic duo of uh, detective uh, boy partners. The dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Ooh. Crime lords, beware. Told you we're not partners. Tony, please uh, remember to put some clothes on. Actually, it might be fun. Oh, especially if you don't wear any clothes. And it's all... Totally, don't, don't come in with any clothes. Heck yeah, where do I pick you up? Uh, one second. <laughs> Renee, what's the address? Now tell him to pick you up outside uh, 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Uh, thanks, Atoli. You know where it is. Yeah, it's in the docks, but wait, how, like, who's Renee? Who is she? Uh, I'll tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Bad life. Drive you soon. <laughs> Call, hang up. Okay, start with the truck. Let's uh, find where it's going. Call me after, during, and after. I'll write. Uh, I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? Uh, what should I do? Odette's my client. But that's my client. Elaborate. The one who hired me to sneak on the guy I found dead her bite, her husband. Oh, poor woman. Yeah, not sure I handled that well. Uh, you did not, but that's okay. Uh, we'll all deal with grief in different ways. But thank you? You can stay here as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back later, okay? You don't want to stay. That's fine. Bye, Howie. Be careful out there. Oh, this is going by really fast. Uh... Oh, he's, oh, yeah, he's the beeper. That's not about my game. Oh, I just noticed he's missing a ear. <laughs> Here we are, guest town. Shepherd, my almighty, uh, what a, what a swanky place. Shepherd, so is that supposed to be the name of God? Shepherd, the shepherd. Uh, looks gonna be deceiving. Be cool to live here, huh? Maybe if I sold my kidney. Well, you go on and bother folks. Uh, and I'm going to get some high quality uh, Natoli uh, chill time. Uh, what's, when's your truck coming? We'll see. Kick back in the meantime. Oh, hey. Hey, Elias. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I always try to kind of set up something kind of thematic to whatever I'm streaming. Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> And Atoli, I'll be here, uh, it'll be here before you know it. Bring me up, uh, bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. That, that beaver, that beaver daddy's kind of cute though. 
Uh, thanks. So hot. I'm so lazy. <laughs> You're telling me. Yes. The Devio Den Hotel, not for the likes of me. Uh, are these teenagers playing hacky sack or something? Got a smoke? <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm all out. I go buy some. You're okay. Ginger. Monday mood, uh, like, uh, so your Monday. Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon, how are the pigeons doing? They're good, thanks for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. Better than your family? Yes. And they certainly pay more attention. People have no sense of value of their elders anymore. <laughs> you don't have someone special. Not for many years, no. That sounds super lonely. There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fella. Enlighten me. Loneliness is a yearning and emptiness. Solitude is space to be yourself. To know yourself. To love yourself. Uh, when I'm alone, I try to drown myself. And drown myself out. Which are you feeling? I want someone other than myself to know me. And which are you feeling? I am solitude... Solitudeness. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there is someone out there who could be as solitudeness with me. Anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet with an interesting story. Noted. It was a pleasant meeting you. Good day, young sir. Feed the pigeons. Oh. Feed them what? I'm not sure. Oh God, it's like an old bear couple back there. Big clock. Grandfather scene. Watch over Gastown as always. Keep it up, old man. The steam powered grandfather clock. Renee. Oh, it's a phone. I thought, I, I honestly thought that was like a weird uh, mail or a newspaper box. I was just going to read an article that maybe she wrote. Howard, how are you doing? Busy, like you should be. Did you need something? Can I run my options with you? Wait, is this a secure line? Take precautions, so... Sure, as long as you're calling me from public terminal, I know... I know if anyone's listening, so what's up? Uh, can we go over my options? We discussed this, you need delivery truck. My time to shine. Positive mental attitude, exactly. Call me once you know more and don't end up in a box yourself. Harold. Oh, now I, now where did I, mm. you okay? I don't, don't mind me, Sonny. I just wish I could remember. What? If I dropped it here. What did you lose? I dropped my ring. Blasted slippery thing. Are you sure you dropped it here? I think so. Through the this grate, I think. How did you actually drop it? I'm not sure. Sometimes I find myself turning it without realizing it. 
to have dropped it elsewhere. I suppose, but I thought I heard a clank. Want me to look around? I may not be my prime, but I need that bring back. If I can get down this manhole. Too dangerous, it'd be miles away by now. They're surely not worth the broken neck. What if I forget about Irma? Who? My late wife. My only love. The rink was precious, but you'll always have your memories. I get... You get to my age and you learn that's not true. There are times now where I realize that it's been days since I thought of her. Are you very lonely? Do you have any family? No, just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share the afternoon. Feed pigeons, do crosswords, you know? I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. Am I supposed to play romance, hook up with them? No point in moving away from the high street yet. Clean, clean, clean. Everything in gas town has to be clean, of course. Hey, there's a gentleman. There's a guy I think you should meet. I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you don't need to pity me. I don't. I'm just connecting to uh, like-minded strangers. Not that, I, not that I'm interested, but what makes you think I'd enjoy him? <sighs> he likes pigeons, probably. Then who is that gentleman you speak of? It's right over there. Should I introduce you to? Well, you can tell him that if he wants. I'd like to share my bench with him for a while. Be happy to hear that. <laughs> Hello again. Hey, would you like some company? That's sweet of you, lad. But I think I'd bore you. I can't tell stories like I used to. Not me, someone who could use some company. You're not boring. I've seen a thing or two in my year, I suppose. Lots have changed. I told her that you're a cool guy. What are you worried about? After so long, you develop secret language with someone. It's hard to start over. Are you into pigeons? Certainly. Irma used to keep a fancy one. Then you might like Ginger. Go over there. She's right over there. Go talk to her. Hmm, if you say so. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, Harold. Let's go. Tell her the raccoon sent you. Good luck. Okay. Oh, hey. Look at that little iguana up there. The window. Mouse, where are you? Oh, yeah, there's no mouse on the screen. My work here is done. Okay. Wood Palace. I need a new couch or any couch. A lonely grandpa.exe. <laughs> and then they lived happily ever after thanks to the pigeons. Oh. Uh, the bendy can't overhear what if they're like talking to each other. I'm not sure what what uh, uh what that accomplished, but <laughs> they do look cute together. How can I go into these liquor store, bookstore? Four eleven electrical. Dock. No. Notch. 
No shops for the van to deliver that way. So there was Bo, and now this guy's named Mo. Get your papas! Is that you, Bo? What's happening locally? Got anything a lazy driver, a taxi driver would enjoy? Yo, you want news crosswords or a little something, something for grown-ups? Ooh. Of course we gotta give them a little something, something. Really? Dur dirty mags are illegal? It's a coloring book that has suggestive <laughs> things to co color in. Perfectly legal. Maybe not that exciting. Oh, I'm buying this, definitely. Oh, uh, a wise choice, two loons, please. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, so I have money, but I guess I don't actually have like a like an inventory where I actually have to worry about money. <laughs> what's happening? Uh, something. What's happening? Like what? Any suspicious traffic? Any funny locals I should walk sh walk out for? Anything spooky going on? Suspicious traffic. Nope. Got better things to do than count cars. I got views to sell. Any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny and I'm very local. Want to hear a joke? Sure. Uh, what do you call a dead baby rodent? Peekaboo. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that's wild. Ha! I knew you'd like that one. Anything spooky going on? Uh, yeah, man. Pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's gotta poison the bastards, I tell ya. Or else we're gonna have a geezer plague part two in our hands. <laughs> At least the geezers are useful. They deliver stuff. Uh, geezers don't deserve the hate. You got a respect for dirty, mindless birds now. Uh, what's next? You're opening a door for a cockroach. Never mind. And anything else? Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? A rabbit from... A rabbit from, uh... Granville. Go away, you're scaring off my clients. Oh. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that to, like, trigger something. Can't talk to anyone now. Oh, it looks official to me. Impressive. Inventory. The gossip magazine. Uh, headline is ten uh, tips for getting for getting fit while doing housework. Oh, it's not a dirty mag at all. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Huh. Let's... Uh, the game uh, does give off Bo Jack Horseman vibes and one of the pedestrians walking in the background. It looks like Mr. Peanut Butter. Yeah, the, a lot of the, uh, the the generic dog characters look like uh, like la Anthro Labs. It does give off that like impression of like darkness and just the uh, I don't know rundownness, just life. Hello, name's Lewis. What can I uh, get for you on this fine day? Looking to treat yourself? You're so scarily excited. Of course, my friend, but if you want uh, refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, 
Blueberry infused uh, variants. But I love Sterling Silver the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Oh. Oh, well, I have to... Well, I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. If you let me buy it fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your wild. Uh, ah, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I, I have to uh, take inventory and there's a bookkeeping. Why so flustered, uh, Lewis? Something wrong? Sir, this is my shop. I, I can't be... <laughs> Harangood. I won't be harang harangood like this in my own shop. Now, please purchase something or immediately leave. In truth, I'm a journalist for a question. Oh, my private eye. What? There's nothing, but if you... <laughs> but if it will make you happy, then leave me alone. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesaler supplies. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly, people are slow to love them. And if they were, if they had more taste, then... Not having many problems, are we? Uh, you sell any of your stuff to the Bites? Uh, you stock any merchandise from the Bites? N no, I, I love for them to stock my own uh, brand stuff, but so far they've not taken me on the offer. <laughs> you got any buyers for those crates? I mean, I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but, you know, uh, how about some free samples of my own uh, porter? You're not going to get me drunk. Are you truly trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no, I'm just being hospitable. A drink to soothe things over always helps. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? Uh, I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns the bar, the bite, I think it's called. Have you ever met her? She owns anything else, perhaps? No, I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not familiar with her business dealings, I'm afraid. What's in the crate, Lewis? Talk or bad things will happen. Please, sir, please. I don't know what you're talking about. This shop is my life. I want the truth, and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Quit. Stop your whining, you useless little man. No, I'm sorry. Uh, you can't. You must believe me, please. Have you ever broken a finger? Spill it. I'll, or I'll start with your pinky. I know people who hurt people for loons. Please, please don't hurt me. If just here's the storage key, okay? Look for yourself and let me be. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. <laughs> oh, oh, I made him cry. And talk to the tuna. Hey, friend, I'm Dorta Tuna, and I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead and press it. Do it. Eggs are very nutritious, as well as the great way to decorate your home. Plants emit a ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks that you're as much as you, though. No, nobody thinks about you as much as you do. Rocks are old, very old. One third of your life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will cry an average of 40 or 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. 
memory your memories are not objective facts they can also change over time without you noticing starting at your staring yourself in the mirror is not healthy at one point you were the youngest person to exist when you drink from a cup a little bit of your spit goes into the cup and that's gross the color you see in the dark is called in Christic gray. The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. There's always the last time. It, there's always the last time and you you see anyone. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but not your body. Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Your skeleton is moist. Because of the unfortunate reptilial repetition semantics, a popo is less effective than a pee pee. Well, didn't quite catch that. Teeth are edible. One day you'll hug your friends for the last time and you might not know it. Having a headache is generally a symptom of, le of leading a very, very sinful life. You can never completely know someone. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. You can extend short things. You were once a baby. Paying rent is one of the sneakiest forms of oppression. On average, people don't know what they're talking about. You are born alone, you will die alone. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. What the hell was that? Gas town. Look, I have unfinished business here. Run. Oh god, you can hear his sniffling in the background. Oh, can you? I can't hear that. Uh, I had to, like, turn the volume down on my, uh, headphones because the music is inconsistent. What's he hiding? I'm gonna talk to the crate. It's a wooden crate. Inspect it up close. There's a faded Sterling uh, Cider logo on the side. The box is simple construction of cheap wood with a uh, flat lid. Look at the lid. The lid does not appear to have a lock on it and there's no obvious way to open it. Punch the lid, inspect the lid. Think about the box hard spec the lid you run your fingers carefully along the edges of the lid at one point there is a tiny recess in the side a lever up the lid fish i'm out of facts he listened to all of them mission complete activate self-destruct mode <laughs> yeah pretty much with little effort the lid pops open from its grooves look inside Beneath the lid are a number of small packages, individually uh, wrapped in thick, silvery paper. Sniff the packages. Come on, don't puke again. You can do this. You can't do this. Sniff the packages. The silvery paper has a chemical tang. The rest of your uh, olfact fact for olfactory observation is filled with the musky uh, basin smells of damp and old uh, cigar smoke. Cold up the puking. You peek back or you peel back a layer of silvery paper to reveal a square, a neat square of flesh. Sniff the flesh. I've seen enough. Fuck it. Sniff it. There's a uh, melanga of in Intoxicating scents, sweet, fatty, and a note of acidic, acidic tang. Inspect the flesh. 
The flesh is like pink with a uh, saturated texture. I can't fucking do this. I've seen enough. Did he run? Oh. Is he actually? Okay, I can barely hear it on my end. But, yeah, you know, he's crying, all right. <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> Illegal fish fillets. It's a dangerous black market. What? Don't you start fucking with me. I generally wish I could believe you. Uh, you think I don't know what fish smells like? Ah, oh, some don't smell as fishy as you think. When did you find out what was in those crates? Tell me everything, no one will give you this chance. But if she finds out how tall anyone, I'll get thrown off over the wall, you understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh like this? My name is Howie. Howard, by the way. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Oh, thanks, but I'll pass. Don't tell me he's going to poison himself. This is my suicide mix. You're missing out, but fine by me. I don't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. But did you try and fight fate? Phoenix, fate, fate is an excuse, and you know that. It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's a damn city's fault. Why isn't she... Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you? <laughs> Probably because life is horribly unfair. Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I th I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't have last. Keeping her alive? How? Leah is ill. Too ill to work. Needs medication for life, and it's expensive. The doctors with Bloodworth, the meds are paid for and never late. Oh, what do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Looked after how? Deliver? A woman calls, asks for her usual. I get one of her boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is Baj Bajwa, and it's all I can tell you, sir. I write down the address for you. It's my head if, it's my head if uh, Bloodworth hears about this. I only want what's best for you. Blah ha hoo, tell me more. I don't know, I never ask. Thank you. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm going to stop Bloodworth. I'm going to find out more about this Baja character. If you weren't forced into this like I was... Oh, why get involved in such nasty business? I wager it won't like where it leads you. We'll see. Just promise you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in fear. I won't. Don't tell me what to do. I won't. Thank you, Shepherd guides you. He doesn't give a fuck. We're on our own. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. When is the box, uh, when is this 
not Baja expecting delivery. Well, Joey takes a crate, uh, took a crate over a few days ago. She is expecting the box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Joey, uh, if Joey, he's, I'll tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I'll deliver them. Have I uh, meet? I have a buyer to meet. You can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, Leia, this won't get back to you. <laughs> Trust me, I'll do this all the time. Give me the cigarettes. Fine, but I can't stop you. My life is worthless. But other people will suffer if you're not careful. Tonic for the soul. Take them, it's on the house. Oh, a sad, sad otter. Oh, did I get them? Oh, expensive cigars for... Expensive people who turn uh, into worthless ash. Good luck, Lewis. Should call Renee. Huh. Guess all the people have moved on. So can I go into these shops? Oh, I can. Poster. Ocean Crunchies, good for munchies. Doesn't look fresh. Startling Cider, could this be the place? No. Oh, I was supposed to go through all the shops then and then just kind of explore and not walk all the way to the end like I did and just talk to the last person. <laughs> Welcome, can I interest you in some honey nut uh gaze apple sticks? Got red cigars. Sure, three loons for a pack of ten. Take them. Okay, fresh and something seasonal. I love veggies. You said finally there have been a problem. Uh, they've been unseasonably, it's been unseasonably cold. Uh, slowed down the growth of lots of crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it though, so they say. Is it serious? How will that affect you? It might be a, a tough couple of months. What can I say? Um, at least uh, Gastown grocers get decent pick of crop serious uh, we should be fine it's just that we're so reliant on agriculture and the greenery so s fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while got any sterling silver sure we got regular blueberry or red berry and pear uh, which is the most popular the red berry is my personal favorite feels the most uh, summery uh, got anything uh, for favorite uh, customer sashed away? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. Bookshop closed. Oh, the liquor shop. What's up, bro Tendo? What's up, bro Tendo? I got you this, you asked. A coloring book, you think I'm five? <laughs> uh, it's for grown-ups, look. Ooh, cat ladies, that's nice of you, partner. I'm glad I'm not poor. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing our masterpiece. Uh, thanks. How's my man doing? Very good indeed. Anything that's not 
shoveling <laughs> uh, baby poop is top notch. Good time in my book. Time of life, uh, getting you down. Imagine someone small and loud tugging at your tail and craving attention all day, every day. But it's love. Worth it. Worth it how? Don't know. Is there anything worth uh, else worth uh, else worth living for? I like that I made a person. When I'm gone, they'll remember me. You no, know, there's easier ways to live. Mark in the world, you won't ever die totally. Sorry to forget you, man. If it's easy, it it ain't worth doing. So second kid soon, huh? In a month, you've got plenty of loons to have kids. Oh, you need plenty of loons to have kids. So I appreciate the gig, Howie. And I appreciate you. Howie, don't make me cry. Gotta go. Can't hit on him. <laughs> now you're married, but that doesn't mean I can't take care of your needs. Mrs. Tilly. Hey. I guess I can't give her cigarettes now. What's that, her parent? Can I help you? Just saying hi. Uh, miss, that's the guy who tried to sell us uh, smokes. More like refused to. Oh, don't worry, sir. Lily here has a nasty penchant for fibbing. Uh, one of the plethora of reasons to see me after school, young lady. As she was soliciting them. They kind of look pretty big to be kids. Uh, sadly, I can believe that. Uh, but do you really need to snitch on a little girl? <laughs> She deserves it. I'm gone. I got a lead. I'm listening. Oh, music. See, now suddenly it got really loud. It got loud for me anyways. I'm listening. Uh, Clarissa's using a uh, liquor as a front. Liquor store as a front. And who buys from here? I get it, but who's the buyer? A uh, woman named Bosh... Boshwa? Any idea who she is? <coughs> uh, not yet. She puts in a call to the shop and then the boxes get delivered from there. Uh, did you learn where? That place. An address in the top's interesting. Feel like heading over for a house call? Heck yeah, I love uh, peeking into people's windows. Huh. Might not be the best uh, idea to just barge in and confront her. I have a delivery to make for her. Oh, good idea, but that won't get you into the apartment. Oh, one thing at a time. You do seem to have a habit of winging it, but hey, whatever works. <laughs> More like spontaneous improvisation. Get on with it. I'm going, I'm going. Yes, madam. You're gonna be fine and call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Well, it is where you live now. <laughs> right. Speak now. So speak soon. Oh, I guess the safe house, not the not my house. 
So do we just head back? Oh, they're not driving very fast if I can keep up with the, uh... Zoom. Oh, he's not there anymore. Zoom, zoom! Oh no, wait, there he is. What the hell did I miss you? Let's drive. Tops, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Haha. <laughs> you know, a partner sounds like a bigger deal than usual. You're being careful, right? Next, I'm not going to deprive you of your best customers. Best friend? Sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Because best friends don't need to tip <laughs> the people. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Just watch the road. Although, even though he doesn't look like a, a raccoon from that angle, he looks more like some sort of weird dog cat thing. Alright. Might go on for a few more minutes. Before calling it a night. Uh, welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of any of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. A real community spirit here, huh? Our residents value the privacy and their time is precious. I got delivery for one Miss Baja here. Ah yes. There's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. And what do you get for it? You want me to say that I live in the basement? Would that make you happy? <laughs> no, it make me sad. Yeah, well, you asked for it. So, how's the basement? It saves me the commute and rent. One day I'll have enough for a deposit in Gastown. Wise moves, stay strong. I intend to. Keep intending, I guess. I'm off. Listen, pal, I'm just doing my job. It could be a lot worse, like being a delivery boy. For... <laughs> For the people here, rich, and anyone famous. You really think I'd tell you either way? These people tip me plenty to keep their lives nice and quiet. How much? Enough. Cool, see you. Nick. Uh, what do you look... What do I look like to you? Big bad wolf. Hmm. Damn straight, and I work for it. I'm sure you did. You don't live here. <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> You're a, a stripper, a striper. I'm just gonna call him stripper. You're a stripper. That's what. <laughs> So apparently that's what they call raccoons. Apparently raccoons can't be rich and powerful, I guess. You got me. So, what's a pretty fool like you doing in a nice place? Like this. Delivery. Delivering anything I'd like? Probably, but it's not for you. Says who? Client confidentiality, I'm afraid. Don't you know who I am? Someone who likes sticking the most into shit I? 
Should I? Wink, wink. Name's Nikki. <laughs> People call me the wolf. I can see why. Even your mom? Oh, you're bringing my mother into this. Do you want to die? Not unless you insist. My mother's everything to me. Moms are cool. Mine wishes I didn't exist sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I'd like to think mine is proud of me. But she's not. Yeah, I can't take a... Can't take a joke because you're so special. I'm certain I certainly I am. Oh, I wish I was. I'm a professional, that's all. You you a nothing, but I can make you everything. I'm happy being single. Can you make me happy? All day, every day. Ooh, that takes a lot of stamina. Oh. <laughs> now we're talking my language. <laughs> Ever heard of a wolf job? Oh my. Is this going where I think I'm going? I don't have time for it right now. No, and I prefer not to. Does your language have a word for... Oh, come on. Boo. Boo! I don't have time for it right now. Sorry. Alright, I can tell your heart's on into it. Uh, go on. Off you go. Aw. Boo. Ah, goodbye then. These plants look better than most people I know. Definitely me. Aw, I couldn't get him a wolf job. That sucks. Notice board. 420 committee meeting this Friday. Someone recommend me a new uh, masseuse chap, apartment 18. I was going to say, do, can I knock on anything? Inspect. Looks like a fire escape. I'm sure that won't be relevant. Uh, the second dialogue sets the mood. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, my mom wishes I didn't exist. <laughs> Miss Baja? Yes. Miss Baja, I got a delivery. For you. Ah, the cigars? All right, just what the doctor order. Right here, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not, I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient. Louise Baja. Follow procedure. You understand. Oh, fine. Louise sends his regards. What about the payment? I have an arrangement with uh, Lewis that's taken care of. Oh, of course, my mistake. Sure, but how about a tip? It's up to your employer to reimburse you correctly, not me. <laughs> you want to arrange any other deliveries? 
just saying, you could su you could sweeten the pot. <laughs> I think instead, I will suggest uh, to Luis that he finds a new delivery boy. You do that. <laughs> Pissing her off isn't going to help me, but I have to find another way. Gotta climb. Can't reach it, damn it, my short arms. I mean, you could just jump for it. Climb. Looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being a creep. Ooh, am I gonna Mary Poppins my way down there? I guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Let's throw the umbrella. Oh, actually, I probably should have just put put it back over there. Whoops. The city looks so strange up here. I bet it's easy to forget real people are struggling below. I just realized I probably should have just gone back and put the umbrella where it goes. Got the geezer. Aw. Oh. oh, so they actually meant real geezer, not like an old geezer. I thought when he was talking about feeding the pigeons, they were talking about a... Uh, Geezers as in like old people, not geezers as in actual geezers. I think I'd be sneaking around some more. Uh, I should be right outside the window of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? Inspect the window. It's closed on a latch. Oh, wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. Maybe if I had something to slide and lift. Oh, shit, I don't have anything. Uh, looks like there's some renovations going. Maybe I can find some tool nearby. I mean, this thing right here. Putty knife. Hey, stranger. <laughs> hey. I don't care why you're here. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Yep, been training. It shows on your butt. <sighs> I've been a while, been a while since I've heard that. It's too bad. I tell you that every day. That would be lovely. Is that catnip you're smoking? You know your neighbor as well. Yep, you want some? <laughs> no, don't fuck with it. I'd love to, but I'm but busy. Sure. Bye, doll. Bye, gorgeous.
Okay, what the hell was that about? I assume that's the person who uh, the cigarettes belong to. So on the side, fuck it, Howard, you're at it again. This ranks uh, the second craziest thing I've done this just this week alone. I'm in way over my head. I need to uh, quickly figure out who lives here and run. Desk. Desk is surprisingly tasteful. Expensive looking knowledge. What? Hold on, mister. You lost. That's right. New part of the... Part of, of the hired help. Jebediah. You look funny. The Theodesia. Funny weird or funny? Ha ha. You're a strange one, aren't you? You got no idea. No. I'm super ordinary. So, what are you doing? I'm an admin assistant. I'm the desk repair guy. That he says repairs are for suckers who can't afford to replace things. Oh, uh, what does people, what does daddy do? My father's a research and development secretary. He's in the sec. He is the secretary of research and development. What about your mom? Mine keeps the house and and helps daddy with the uh, paperwork. Great for her. Is she happy? Of course she is. Always. She has everything in me. <laughs> that's what she tells you, huh? Oh, that's terrible. Mine's dead. Classy. Whose house is this? Oh, classic. I'm sorry to hear that, kid. When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. Life is meaning us without what we can do instead. The Theo here uh, just uh, likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. You think dolls reinforce uh, bigoted stereotypes too, huh? And maybe you'll annoy her more. <laughs> no, because I'm going to be like the big boss and have the biggest cigars. Yikes, I need a favor to ask. Daddy says single flavor can be priceless, but the more but more than one makes you worthless. Oh, a single flavor can make you priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I will owe you a great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? Uh, my boss will get angry at you for, uh, get angry. I'm talking with you. Let's just keep it secret. Yes, because you're being lazy instead of working. They'll be angry at you too. Exactly. I need to, I need this job to pay for stuff. Our stuff is better. We don't have to work for it. We win. Look, the grown-ups will be angry at you, too. No, they won't. Why would they? They're distracting servants from doing their work. Running peasant <laughs> time with a peasant like me, they'll be pissed. Hmm. But it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I could do that, you know. Shout! You'll get shouted at louder. And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing. I'm daddy's favorite. Yeah, so why aren't you with him right now? <laughs> I'll tell him you threw his 
files out the window. <laughs> what about you, boy? <laughs> okay. And what about you, boy? I do hate it when daddy shouts. Oh, what are you doing in here anyways? We snuck in here. Oh, what are your parents doing? Oh, they're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't snitch if you won't. Fine, you got yourself a deal, uh, Mr. Theo. Take a peek. Can we sneak out? Oh, you peek. I don't want to. I can do it. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. <laughs> ah, not this guy. Bookshelf. Maybe some books secretly opens a hidden room. Oh my. Look at that sexy lion. A bamboo, a kitty. Oh no, that's an orangutan. Hmm. So was there no sound there? Because I didn't hear anything. So is it clear? Can we go? Hey, you know what's for dinner? We didn't see, but it smelled kind of funny. I'm sure it was just some new kind of spice or something. Uh, you want to know what they're really eating in there? There's something they don't want you to know. Growing up, a grown up secret. We're old enough to know the secret. Tell us. Even if it's scary. Yes, tell us. You're hired help. You have to. It's the law. Actually, it's just a new Your kids won't like it. You know that people die, right? They're eating flesh, the flesh of other people. What? That's nonsense. Shut up. You can't do that. A woman kills people and people like your parents buy it from her. People like your parents make up the rules. Why didn't they tell us? Because they're eating someone you like? Because one day they might eat you. They want to keep it secret because it's scary and wrong. Only grown-ups uh, care about uh, keeping you quiet. <laughs> but, but, it's a secret. They want to keep it that way, yeah. That's up for your parents, sorry. Father wouldn't let anything bad happen. Of course not. Come on, Theo. I'm sure it's not that bad. Good luck, you two. Oh, okay. Uh, the dust made out of beautiful, uh, expensive, solid wood. You feel like the world uh, could run from behind this desk. Sniff the desk. Alright. The wood has perhaps... Uh, been rubbed with the scent of oil, a uh, redolent of citrus and smoke, smells like power and success. Feel the desk. It feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its uh, silky grain every day. Look at the pile of dust. Uh, a quick glance for reveals a... Uh, a stack of various documents, letters, and notes, all uh, with annoyingly small print. Grab the papers. Right. The name of the owner of the study should be in there somewhere. No time to look for them, though. Through here. Uh, search the desk. 
Pouring you over at the dusk, yes. Uh, there are a few, uh, there are a few uh, closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else out of note. Search for hidden compartment. Inspect the book. Uh, it's a copy of Nature Within Us by Jordan, uh, Uh, by Jordan Rayan Ray Raydon. Read the blur of the book. In the seminal uh, advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, uh, Ray Raydon uh, treads new ground uh, towards a truly utopian society. I get the feeling I know what kind of book this is. It's one of those hateful books um, masquerading as a uh, Egalitarian philosophy that uh, fascists love. Take the mug. A plain white mug with a uh, ape of the year written on red words on it. Open the drawers. Or they're locked. Her own sister's is not taking, is taking no chances. Search for secret compartments. You've never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping you find nothing. <laughs> You give up on finding cool secret compartments. Actually, I know of some. Oops, I've seen some uh, secret compartment uh, desk. Oh, uh, there's a time and a place for fantasizing about secret compartments. Stop searching the desk. It's so risky to be searching more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. Leave desk alone. Should probably leave. Uh-oh. Are you ready to start? Oops. Let's do it. Right, so you barge into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. <laughs> I prefer the term borrow. Of course. Oh, what were you thinking? They were there, so I took them. I couldn't find anything else. I'm sorry. But well, let's see what we got here. Could you read out loud? Uh, I think best with my eyes open. Where do I start? Uh, start small. Anything that looks personal, maybe handwritten. Of course, here's one. Wow, that's so faint. Burnt after reading. <laughs> okay, a handwritten note on a, a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Read it. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will uh, report directly to me. Burn after reading. I feel like this stuff that caught your eye. Chief Tanner. Yeah, who's this guy? Sounds like my old schoolmaster. This Tanner guy is the head of something. You have a name, can't you look it up somewhere? That's right. I think our answer uh, to what might be in their note. head of biochemistry what are you thinking he wants the best biochemist there biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab good point and you can only find those in the science city report directly to me hmm uh to give that order you need some serious authority All right, maybe the highest. Okay, let's draw a conclusion. 
What's, how the hell would I know any of this? Tanner, uh, Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works for works in Science City. Who's the buyer then? The science minister, the president, uh, the head of Science City. Science minister, sure. Right, you stole those documents from uh, the science minister. Nice one. Nice, Howard. Shit, do I have to return them? No, they're yours now. So the science minister is uh, buying flesh from uh, Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Fucking Clarissa. Let's see if we can figure out what's next. Uh, I'm right here. Let's read on. Kind of read a memo. Oh, let's move on. It's the same one. R and D. Let's see, an official looking uh, report on Science City branded paper. A research project uh, number 67 slash 5B, introduction report. Minister protein analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample process, Heathelltro. He uncategorized genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This cannot be rushed. As I've said before, please have patience. Well, let's look closer at this. Hmm. Uncategorized genes. Sounds important, right? Are they developing new technology? They've got an alien. A new form of life or at least something that they've not detected before but what are they looking for protein analysis of the new sample you understood that <laughs> something to do with food biochemistry stuff i'm impressed yes proteins and uh, rna are genetic terms uh, and our uh, minister head of biochemistry, remember, this can't be rushed, as I said before. Uh, this must be the biochemistry he hired writing this. Uh, the, scientist, uh, the science minister is not an easy guy to work with. Science is hard. <laughs> biochemistry is deliberately going slow. But the biochemist. Science is hard. True, but... What jumps out to me is the feeling that the uh, that the minister is impatient. Let's look at other papers. RSVP. An envelope containing a single sheet of high quality paper with neat uh, writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. NT. Let's analyze this. What do you want to discuss, dear friend? Who is N.T.? His friend, uh, another minister. Isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. You prepared, uh, have a delicacy you prepared. What's he talking about? <laughs> A mean shepherd's pie, flesh, rich people food. Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. What are they celebrating? Uh, they get richer and more powerful each month. Somebody's birthday. <laughs> Some ancient uh, cult tradition. Uh...
Sure. Bastards. <laughs> We're done with this document. Other documents. A briefing log. A leather dossier with a with golden uh, city emblem engraved. There are a few pages inside it. My right honorable miss, uh, ministers, I've wanted to summarize my official recommendations on the new uh, street drug in circulation named uh, Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant uh, addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk to public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes a detailed uh, toxicology analysis. Analysis, where do we start? <laughs> no widespread risk to public health. Do you believe him? Yeah, drugs could be safe, really be safe. He's been manipulating test results. Right, we know that he has access to a laboratory. My honorable... Ministers, yeah. This report was seen at the highest level of officials. Yeah, and if they accept the report, those drugs are basically illegal. Criminalization is not warranted. Well, what does this imply for Clarissa? Protects Clarissa's customers. Recommendation benefits Clarissa. If monkey bet's being pushed at the bite, then yeah, that's a lot of heat off of her. Police note. A blank uh, paste, a blank paper with a small typed note. No other details or clues. Read it. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of the disappearance from uh, this Disappearances from West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. Uh, there's, there's so much that we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses. Fix it. Let's analyze this. Uh, I don't know why you want them left alone. What does the science minister even care? Because he made them go missing. They're being turned into flesh. Potentially, but it's a stretch. It's clear proof of the science minister's covering something up, though. Recent disappearance. What's the connection? Uh, they're all from the West End. Yes, but more importantly, the minister or someone close to him could be linked. What does it imply? The police will start investigating since the science minister has a way to stop the police from investigating. To a point, but if the disappearances don't stop, it's somehow bad news for the science minister. Nope to daddy. An illustration... Uh, an, illustrate, an illustrated letter written in colored pencil. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. <sighs> I love you very much. What do you think? Can you love someone like the minister? Kid seems to love his dad. Powerful deduction detective. I want a lizard. What does this tell you? Oh. Why wouldn't the kid just ask for a lizard? Uh, business mentality, or kids lying and wants to buy something else with the money. <laughs> I think we're done. All right, Howard, what exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the Mr. Partners? She, he has dirt on her, she has dirt on her. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all of this? Her, her lovers, flesh. Flesh. Judging by what you saw, the dinner RSVP, those ministers and maybe the apes are at large are con 
are considering lower class people a delicacy. Uh, disappointed, but not surprised. It could have been me on those plates. Fuckers. Clarissa's enabling this. What is she getting from it? Immunity. Eight ministers are a girl's best friend. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any meddling in her business, then she gets to safely uh, produce drugs. Then she keeps the bike going. Yes, Howard. But not only that, she has almost absolute power within the ministry. Is While the ministry is on her side, the, the drugs are pretty straightforward. It's missing people bothered. It's the missing people bothering the mo me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? Yes, I'll get you the reports, na names, and addresses. Uh, we have to see if these people are connected to the Minister of Blood Force somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Right, there's no time to lose. We have to act now. There must be something else uh, we're missing. Even as, even a big uh, benefit to Clarissa. Something only the apes can give her. Something to do with science, technology. Uh, that explain why the ministers, uh, why the science minister she's interested in. He has to be researching something, right? What was it again? RNA. No, I think the RNA tracking is a method of using uh, to study protein functions. Science is hard. Right, proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in, in science lab or in science city. Secret research only in the midst room one scientist knows about. <sighs> Agreed, but that's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purpose? Uh, it could be that the miss that the missing girls are all making up <laughs> are all making drugs in that lab. Uh, it could be powerful. She wants to power she wants information to be on top of it all uh that would be neat and tidy but i think there's still uh, too much we don't know we must look into it getting into science city will be hard into the most secretive building in the city uh you're serious ah! mike almost fell over <laughs> uh, i guess we could try I am. First, the West End. Uh, we're c uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice, I'll get it. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's cute. Honk. Indeed. Honk, honk. Here's your loon, buddy. Honk. Fly free. Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. I'll stick with tea, thanks. I'm not going to be a stereotypical noir detective and drink alcohol. Do you mind if I crack open the gin? Okay, you make a comparison. You do you. Cheers. Here's to this being all over, all over soon. To me, so, how are you feeling uh, about the case and everything? I still can't wrap my head around it. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. You're a lucky lady. I couldn't do this without you. Uh, you're more than capable to do it alone. You're lucky. I am. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. 
everything feels like this is where I'm meant to be. You were a writer before, right? So why do we even need me, Reese? Or Renee? Renee? Is that Renee? Renee? Yep, I spent my life trying to find uh, words for how and why everything is so fucked up. Fucked up? How? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple. Everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged against the status quo. But what do you mean? Do you think it's a coincidence that you found uh, Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. Uh 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 oh. It's is this maybe this is why the uh the game has got a a bad rating. Is is this politics in in my video games? <gasps> Is this game making a statement the the rich are literally eating the poor after they make the uh, poor have drugs and get fucked up and OD on said drugs? Do you think it has something to do with class? It has everything to do with class. Oh shit, it, it is politics and video games. Oh no. Uh, how do you know that? You know, I always fit in. People like me, and yet I felt disconnected. I was sleepwalking. And then one day, something cracked inside me. What happened? Tell me. Last year, I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in, the, in West End. It made me into who I am now. What incident? Pipes? Burst, uh, burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called the uh, super services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. They tried to report it and got fired. How? Why? All of these people in areas like uh, West End and the docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. I can't take it. I have to do something. I feel the same way after the bite. I'm sorry, but how did it make you feel? Good. Nothing will be the same again. You won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. I don't want to be normal anymore. Right, something has to change, finally. I believe in us. Have you been sleeping since? I've been trying to. I'm no worse than usual. I have this reoccurring nightmare. I have one too. Oh, what is it? I'm in my childhood household. I'm falling from a multi-story building that's on fire. Hmm. I try to scream and wake up sobbing, and then I die, and that's the dream. I hate screaming in my dreams. I always wake up covered in sweat. What about yours? I'm running through thick black mud, and then it swallows me whole. Are you close with your mom? Why are you asking this one? Close enough, yes. What does that mean? She's not someone I respect. I'm here to listen. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. I love her because she's my mom, but I'm also angry. Uh, no one is owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be assholes too. What's her deal? I don't know. I'm sorry. She's been spiraling for years. She had a hard life. It's complicated, and she's got no... Oh, she's, compla oh, she's complacent and has no perspective. Yes, this one. <laughs> this actually defines my mom a lot. Go on. Treats me like an idiot that she owns. She... Boys or anything you see on TV or anywhere. She expects me to look after her or have kids to keep her company. 
Damn, ever try talking to her? Yeah, dead end. She doubles down. Yep. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. You ever feel guilty about it ever? No way. I'm not her therapist. I don't. I don't ask. I didn't ask to be born. I refuse to shoulder the burden for her insecurities. That's extreme. Maybe I should think like that. If someone brings uh, negativity into your life, cut them out. Works every time. Yes, actually, do that. Do that. Fuck your parents. Fuck anyone in your life. Fuck your family if they do that. Just because they're your family doesn't mean you need to, like, keep them in your life. Especially if you're, like, well off and you owe them nothing. You don't owe, like, you don't have to owe anyone, like, a relationship based on blood. Don't ever feel compelled to do that, especially if the uh, if the relationship is unhealthy. Do you ever feel like uh, no one truly knows you? You know me, kind of. Nobody else. <laughs> right. I could only know. Uh, I could only know you uh, filtered through my own perspective perception. That's not really you, just a projection inside my head. But it's close enough. I still, uh, but I still feel the connection. I'm glad that I'm in your head. That's close enough. I guess it's just a bit lonely. You'll always have yourself. We're lonely together then. That's nice. Are you happy? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to, but I think I'm going in the right direction. I'll tag along if you don't mind. Yeah, Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. <laughs> I mean, she is drunk. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Renee. For board. Wait. Article makes no mention where they found him. Makes you wonder. Uh, the best and the highest, the brightest mind of the city. Uh, what are you up to there, exactly? Uh, looks like she hasn't called them back. Always, uh, staying on track, Renee. Uh, Bloodworth was doing it right under our noses this whole time. Makes me sick to think about it. What are you hiding, you bastard? Uh. That, uh, Luis is a wreck, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for him. I guess he has the effect on people. I hope he's okay, at least. Oh, can't clean up. Rooting more than uh, Sir Sir forgot the dishes. That's on my mind. So how about you share instead, hmm? Might you do you good? And then there's her name. Woohee, that lady. No wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well. I respect her. Good working together, mutual respect, not bad ingredients. We're looking to cook up with a little something something's all I'm saying. <laughs> mm. 
that you, Streak Hawk? Yes, and I feel like my insides are trying to fight my outsides. So when do I have a code name? Uh, start now, Street Hawk, anyway. <laughs> How's it been over there? Not great. I'm near the apartments of the last two leads. Uh, you already spoke to Mary, uh, Miranda, and Shelly? I tried everything, but they had a total mistrust of strangers. Were you persistent? Were you charming? Did you tell them that you were on their side? I tried, I promise. No luck at all. Damn. Well, stay positive. Maybe if Beverly or Bill will talk. Maybe, I don't know. What if this was a total of wild goose chase? I got a good feeling. Two more doors. They're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. It would be nice if they gave me a chance. If only they knew uh, how understanding you are. Chin up, you got this. And what if I don't got this? I do got this. Good luck and remember to don't knock gently. Tell me how it goes. Okay. I assume it auto saves. I don't see a way to... Uh, save. I assume that the game doesn't want... I assume that they don't want you to auto-save or uh, to make manual saves because uh, it seems like there's probably different paths to the solution. I assume that you're always, you'll always go through the game no matter what choices. But I feel like there's probably a way to like talk your way through stuff. Maybe. At least that's the impression I, could, I got. Maybe I'm completely wrong <laughs> on that. But anyways, I'm going to call it a night for today. Thank you, anyone who stopped by. Thank you, Elias, for hanging out for a little bit. I hope you all have a great day. Let's see if I can even get my bearings right. To end the stream. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.